As we gather around our tables tonight, I'm reminded of the wise words of Chinua Achebe, who once said, a person who calls his kinsmen to a feast does not do so to save them from starving. They all have food in their own homes. When we gather together in the moonlight village ground, it is not because of the moon. Everyone can see it in his own compound. We come together because it is good for kinsmen to do so. When I see the representation of Africa by the delegations from Burundi, Ethiopia, Ghana, Mozambique, and Namibia, I see the possibility of a united continent. We are all brothers and sisters, especially that it's proven scientifically that life started from Africa. In this diverse assembly, I see the richness of our continent and the potential for unity and progress. I want to express deep gratitude to my esteemed sister, Her Excellency Monica Gengos, the First Lady of the Republic of Namibia and the President of the WAFLAD for her visionary leadership that the idea of a unifying campaign was born. My sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the strength of our continent lies in our ability to approach challenges collectively, learning from each other, negotiating with a unified voice, and finding fulfillment in the success of our neighbors. The seed we planted in Kinshasa during the launch of the unified campaign in July 2023, as we celebrated 20 years, has started flourishing across Africa. During the first Africa Climate Summit, summit hosted by our president, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, here in Nairobi in September 2023. Our continent came together and declared a united stand on climate issues. This solidarity provides us with a strong foundation and a common front as we head to COP28 in Dubai just in a few days. Tomorrow, we will launch the unified campaign for Kenya in the presence of over 20,000 women and men from across the country. Thank you. This campaign is not just a symbol of unity. It is a call to action for us as Kenyans to work together towards common goals. We are better together. And this campaign will serve as a constant reminder to the strength we possess when united. I'm confident that you will be delighted by the showcase we have prepared and our renowned Kenya hospitality will make your stay truly memorable. On behalf of the organizing committee for the launch of the unified campaign for Kenya and joyful women celebrations, we are honored to host you tonight. As we embark on this journey together, may our collective efforts bring about positive change for the benefit of our beloved continent. Excellency Mrs. Rachel Ruto, Her Excellency Monica Gengels, President of WAFLAD, my sister First Ladies, Her Excellency Dorcas Rigati, members of the Joyful Women Organization, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from the President and people of Ghana. It is indeed an honor to join my sister, Mrs. Ruto, to celebrate the 14th anniversary of the Joyful Women Organization 
and the launch of the Wafla Gender Unifying Campaign. Whatever challenges we face as a continent is amplified for women who make up about half of Africa's population. Often women are at the bottom of the economic ladder because of social and cultural barriers. Yet we know that when women make enough income, families, communities, and our nations prosper. This is where campaigns and movements like the Joyful Women Organization make such a difference. Madam First Lady, I applaud you on ensuring women have access to finances and markets to grow their businesses. This has made women better placed to take care of their families. Beyond this, though, is the confidence and mental well-being that come with knowing that one is financially empowered to take on the world. Today is therefore a special day for all of us as we give thanks for 14 years of economic transformation and unlocking opportunities for women. I pray that this movement continues to grow and provide many more women with the opportunity to improve their lives. <laughs> Madam Ruto, I launched the campaign in Ghana on August 28th. Congratulations on launching the Kenyan campaign. When women and girls representing about half of our society have access to health, education and skills are free from gender-based violence. They can contribute their quota to the development of our nations. Every First Lady has a charge to keep. Your country looks up to you. Women and God bless Kenya. Asante sana. I now wish to invite Her Excellency, Honorable Mrs. Janet Museveni, First Lady of the Republic of Uganda, our neighbor, to come and greet us. Welcome, your Excellency, Dr. William Ruto, a president of the Republic of Kenya, my dear sister, Mrs. Rachel Ruto, our hostess, my dear sisters, the First Lady is present here today, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. I greet you all and I bring you warm greetings also from the President and the people of Uganda. It is a real honor and pleasure for me to participate in the Joyful Women's uh, Annual Thanksgiving event under the theme Celebrating Women women's economic transformation and unlocking opportunities for significant impact. I congratulate my sister and friend, Mama Rachel, on 14 years of the Lord's goodness and favor upon this great ministry to the women of Kenya. That was birthed under the exemplary leadership I thank you for remembering to give thanks to the Lord and inviting all of us to have the opportunity to share this day with you. Admonishes us to give thanks to the Lord 